Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I create art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. Today we're doing this lovely rosebud in polychromos color pencils and a little bit of solvent on a Strathmore 400 series Bristol paper. I have sketched out my rose today very, very lightly on the paper that I'm going to be using in a very light pink um, polychromos color pencil. The reason for this is I don't want the graphite to disturb the look of the light pink color uh, that we're putting down on this rose. If you use graphite, sometimes it can muddy up the color and you can still see um, some of that graphite showing through there. And no matter how much you erase it light enough so that you can still see the outline, it does sometimes affect the outcome of the final result. It's always helpful to sharpen your pencils before you even get started. And this way, when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. So I've sharpened all my pencils and I've also swatched out all of the colors that I think I might be using in this drawing. And I do that by just looking at the reference image and pulling out all the colors in the set that I think I might um, need to represent the colors in the reference image. So I've pulled those out, I've marked them down, and I put the numbers next to them on the sheet of paper that I have on the side of me. And this way, you can just grab the right pencil and you know you're gonna get the right shade out of it. And there's no second guessing. So once you've color mapped your colors, which just really means you're gonna lightly put down the first coat of color pencil in the shades where everything is going and try to get your values um, in the proper uh, value range. Now we're gonna start to go in with our detail. I've slowed this down a little bit for you to, so that you can watch as I do it in real time in this part. And we're just gonna start to go in with little bits of detail and um, start to refine the petals and the leaves and the stem. There's quite a lot of veining in these rose petals and I'm going to lightly map those in as well so I don't go over uh, too much with um, the color pencil so I can't see where I'm going. So I'm just going to map those in a little bit and we're still working in really light layers so you'll be able to see um, your uh, sketch underneath. I put down a ton of light layers and the reason I do this is you can build up your color gradually and you'll get a really nice hyper realistic effect when you're done. So I'm going to layer in some yellows and then I'm going to layer in some oranges and then I'm going to put a little bit of red on top of those and it just really gives you a much more vibrant and beautiful effect. Now I'm going in with my background and I'm starting to go in with blue. Now we're going to use some solvent and I've sped this up here because it's a little bit boring to watch me just coloring in. I spent quite a lot of time on the background to get this kind of blurry, mushy effect. Um, so we're going to speed this up, but I'm going to use some solvent and I'm going to mush all those colors together with the solvent. Basically the solvent just melts the pigments together and gives you a more painterly effect. And so I'm doing one side and then I'll speed it up even further as I go to the other side. So you can see. Now with solvent, a little bit goes a long way. I have it just on a brush. And then I'm gonna go in um, with some paper towel. Now, before you go in with a second layer of color pencil, you wanna make sure that that solvent dries completely before you go in with the second coat. So you can see I did the right side and now I'm gonna do the left side. So I'm layering all of my color pencil. A big mistake that people do with solvent is they don't have enough material down on the paper before they go in with the solvent. So you want to make sure you have enough pigment down and then the solvent will just mush everything together. So like I said, I did spend quite a lot of time on this and um, I'm going to just speed it up so that um, you get the idea here. So I'm putting the color down, let it dry in between layers, and then go back in with the solvent. And you can see you get this really nice kind of modeled background effect. 
So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna push my values. So anything that's dark, I wanna make sure is dark enough, leaving my bright highlights bright enough. Now nothing is pure white in here, so I'm using a very light pink to go over the areas that look white on here, but they're really a light pink. And we're just going to refine everything, double check with our reference image, make sure we have our values correct, and we're going to adjust as necessary. Please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and leave me a comment below. I love hearing from each and every one of you. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a great day.